All right, okay, so um, we just did a video on the 1560 and on the gauge. So today we changed the gauge from three, from quarter inch. I just wanted people to see our mechanic just, you need if you want to set, uh, change the gauge. It, it's pretty easy, but I don't have patience for it. You need people that have patience to do it. It needs some um, timing but I don't have the patience for timing. And anybody that calls me that they want patience, I mean, uh, do these things, I tell them I don't have no patience. Okay, so we had our engineers came in today, and I'm sorry about the noise in the background, they're doing shipping right now, this is going out. So, this is a 1560, look, if you, uh, let me just do one here so people see better. I just wanna show you guys the gauge that we just did. See, if you come here, Lindsay, this is not quarter inch. This is three eight. So when it's three eight, I think we, we went over this, but I just want to know that we, this is one of the things that you could do with this machine. You gotta change the, the plate. You gotta change the foot, which is the foot has two needle, double needle walking foot. You gotta change the uh, feed dog. And you gotta change the needle bar. Not the bar, the needle clamp. Mm. All right? This is the fourth thing that is gonna be changed. Changing um, the plate, the feed dog, obviously the foot, and the bar, the clamp is very easy. But when the needle go to the side, the whole hook has to be adjusted. This is something that I don't know how to do. I don't dare touch. I don't like touching. I I won't do it. But just to tell you how wide this could go very wide. This is another customer that we are making this for uh, would have a five eighth, almost one inch gauge. You see, this is the quarter. This is five eighth gauge. We're making another machine for a different customer. You know, for different different application, you need to have different gauge sets. Okay, so this is what you could do on both 15, 16. On uh, this is the walking foot, even on the 35, 20, 28 Juki, on the console double needle, on the new tech double needle, the gauge is changeable. So this just wanted to go and show you and show you that this could be done. This is one of the specialty on the machine. Now, last time we also did the video on this machine, and as you saw, it broke the thread. And I told you the breaking that it broke the thread. It had to do with the being top the the thread not being strong enough for that application. Also, that uh, webbing was extra heavy duty webbing. But I just wanted to go over the guys to see that this machine really could do amazing. See? This is double layers of webbing and then four or five layers of uh, denim jeans. And you see this? I'm gonna do double that. And I'm gonna pick this out. Yeah, I just, it will do the job. See that? Wow. Great, great sewing machine, Juki LU1560, with the new gauge set of 3 8 by the way. This is 3 8 not a quarter 3 8 That's an extra charge. Extra charge to have a extra, um, yes, sir. Thank you for watching David from goldstartool.com. One of the great, one of the greatest, greatest industrial walking food devil needed sewing machine on earth, on the planet. Thank you for watching.